Welcome to the Virtual DJ Getting Started series. In this video, we'll show you how and where to access the settings window of Virtual DJ, explain the different tabs and what they offer, and how to change various settings and provide a few examples. So let's get started. Virtual DJ is extremely flexible and most of these customization features are found in the settings area. Now it's very important for you to become familiar with the settings area so you can configure for controllers and sound cards, set up your preferences, and change the look of Virtual DJ to your liking. To access the settings window, click on the gear icon which is located in the top section of the skin. Once the settings window is open, you can see tabs located on the left hand side which allow you to access the different areas. The first tab is the tutorial tab. Here you can find various informational walkthroughs including how to's, tip of the days, and other helpful videos about Virtual DJ. Also in this tab is a help widget where you can search our FAQ articles or click on contact us which will take you to the support portal where you can chat with us or submit a support ticket. The audio tab is where you can configure your sound routing options. The upper quick setup area allows you to change to different modes, select different sound cards, and quickly create inputs. Additionally, if you have any one of the over 300 supported controllers connected, Virtual DJ will display a box with a controller name that you can click on to quickly configure for the proper sound card routing for that particular controller. Below the quick settings area is the advanced routing area where you can specify a specific sound card driver and channels that Virtual DJ will use for all outputs and inputs. Additionally, you can save any of your sound card routings as a preset for quick recall in the future. The interface tab allows you to change all things graphical in Virtual DJ. There are four main categories listed at the top. Now the main interface tab allows you to change the graphical user interface, or as we like to call, the skin. Now clicking on an option will immediately change the main skin. There are four default skins to choose from, and clicking on Get More will jump you over to the Extensions tab where you can download additional ones. Video overlays are an element that allows your audience to see your workflow and creativity on the video output window. We have a few default video overlays to choose from, along with the option to turn them off. Clicking on Get More will jump you over to the Extensions tab to download additional ones. Karaoke overlays are what's displayed on the video output in between singers when using the karaoke rotation feature in the side view. The default overlay will show your singers list and current audio track playing in the auto mix. You also have the option to disable the overlay or click get more to download additional ones. And the last tab in the interface section allows you to change the skin to the remote app which you can download from Google Play or the Apple App Store onto your phone or tablet. The default skin is currently selected but once again you have the option to install additional skins from the Extensions tab. Below the Interface tab is the Controllers tab. Here you can create custom keyboard shortcuts and alter any mappings for controllers that you have currently connected. Clicking on the Setup and Drivers button will take you to your controller's specific hardware manual setup section, which has the links to any required drivers that you will need to install from the manufacturer. Clicking on the Controls button will open the mapping section of that manual so you can see what each button or fader is mapped to. The EQ Frequency button allows you to specify the advanced EQ mode you want to use with a controller so that you can control stems or traditional EQs. The Edit Mapping button is where you can customize the mapping for your controller. Now changing your current mapping is as easy as selecting the control that you wish to change, then typing or selecting the new action script. Virtual DJ will then save this as a new mapping profile. You can also quickly recall this new mapping profile or change back to the factory default one via the mapping drop-down box. The keyboard tab is where you can select and customize keyboard shortcuts. Now in the drop-down box, you can see we have our own keyboard shortcuts template as well as those from other popular DJ software. Additionally, customizing or adding new keyboard shortcuts is as easy as clicking on the key you wish to edit and entering your new action script in the script editor. The phone tablet tab is where you can connect your mobile device to Virtual DJ using the remote application downloaded from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. And finally, the missing controller section is used to rescan for devices, list all compatible devices, and displays advanced features with connected devices. Next is the Options tab. It is here where you can change hundreds of different options which allow you to customize almost every virtual DJ feature to match your preference and DJ workflow. Finding and changing options is as simple as typing in the search bar what you are looking for, and Virtual DJ will then show all options that pertain to your search. The License tab is where you connect Virtual DJ in order to unlock any purchased licenses or subscription services. Since Virtual DJ no longer uses serial codes, it is here where you add and manage your licenses and your content subscriptions. To connect, simply click on your connection method and the credentials required to connect. Additionally, you can purchase licenses and subscription services directly 
directly from this tab. The Extensions tab will allow you to add skins, effects, samples, and other add-ons directly from inside Virtual DJ. Once you find an add-on that you want to install, simply click on the Install button and Virtual DJ will handle the rest. Now there are many add-ons to choose from and more are being uploaded by the community frequently, so make certain to check this tab often. The Broadcast tab is where you set up for streaming your mixes live over the internet. The video section will offer settings for connecting to Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, or other popular social media sites. You can also choose to stream audio to your Virtual DJ profile page, setting up for professional radio servers using IceCast or Shoutcast protocols, and also for personal podcasts. The Record tab allows you to configure recording options for both your audio and video mixes. Here you can specify where Virtual DJ will record to and the format and quality of your recordings. As you can see, knowing your way around the settings area is important as you can change and customize almost every facet of the software right from this window. This video only highlights some of what you can do and we encourage you to have a look at our online manual if you want to learn more. That'll do it for this Getting Started video. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series as you get to know your way around Virtual DJ.